So there was a time he lost 240 million. <laughs> Uh -huh, explain, is this like 240 million that you had or that was about to come to you? Mm. Like what, 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 what was the circumstance? Okay, so we had done a pr proposal. Um, it had been a very successful. We were able to convince a big broadcaster that mm -hmm. we were going to provide for them um, content mm -hmm. over two years, mm -hmm. um, every day for an hour, um, actually every day for four hours and one hour on a weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, so if you looked at the value of that entire contract, it was going to be that juicy amount you've just mentioned. Well, where, <laughs> let me tell you something. If I'm looking at 240 million, I can see it over here, and then it walks away. I, mean, I don't know what I would do with myself. So Yeah, well, I stayed home for, for a week. Uh -huh. Actually, it was about almost two weeks, but um, my wife kicked me out of the, <laughs> of the bedroom. <laughs> Okay, yeah. why? What happened? Um, why, why did she kick you out? What was? What were you going through? Yeah, no, I was. I, I don't know whether is it depression. What do you call that depression? You just don't want to do anything. You don't face the world. Mm -hmm. um, everything is, has caved around you. Yeah. You had taken loans. I had borrowed money. You know, it was. It was like this was going to be it. It was going to set us out aside, set us apart. It was going to make um, the film industry something really, really big. Riverwood was going to flourish. Mm -hmm. um, and that that's what I was dreaming about mm -hmm. um, so it just came crumbling and uh, in one day mm -hmm. there was one announcement that was made um, that oh we're closing the station and that was it and that was the end that of was, it that was the end wow. of that dream Aki Polesana Lakini that is the way that entrepreneurship goes <laughs> you know I mean what to do someone should have given me a dose of I don't know what <laughs> Okay, but before we get there, I just want to introduce you. Um, mm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Failure Effect. Today, we're here with renowned TV producer, Mwaniki Mageria. You would already know him from his cooking show called Foods of Kenya, right? Which I'm sure we all watch, right? Mm. Um, he has apparently also been involved in the production for The Real Housewives of Nairobi, a really, really popular show these days. But I'm going to let him tell us more about himself as we explore the background to the loss of this 240 million. <laughs> like, what is this um, business that you are involved in and how did you get into it in the first place? Okay, that you that's a very good question. Uh, it's a passion question. Um, so... <laughs> One of the things that I was doing, well, ever since I, grew, I was a kid, I wanted to be in showbiz. Mm -hmm. And um, when now I started doing events as uh, my company with Balozi, I knew that that was not exactly what I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wanted to be, um, I wanted to be more in showbiz rather than just organizing events. So when we got a bit of cash, I said, okay, let's start doing some films. Mm -hmm. We did some films and we started um, promoting them. And then I went to the Kenya Film Commission. At the time, Washira Waroro yes. was the um, CEO or the commissioner. I told him, I told him, you should be called commissioner. Right. If, you run, if you had a commission, you should be a commissioner. Yes. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> so he said, why, why are you? And, 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 and there were small movies like Backlash. Okay, not so small. Mary, yeah. Mary, Mary, what was her name? Okay, um, there was Backlash, there was Mary Megwe. Mm -hmm. um, there was um, a f small movie by, by um, this bearded brother of mine, what is his name, uh, Kajitan Boy. Yes, yes. So I was, I was helping them promote, because I, I, I was in sponsorship and marketing, mm -hmm. and they were producing films. So I, now I tried, together with my own films, to try and promote them, make sure they go into the cinemas, making sure that the scene on actually on TV, um, so we, we worked with both Kajetan and Mary Megwe. And then I went to KFC and told him, you know, help us promote these local movies. He told me, why are you doing small, small movies? Do you know that guy is in River Road doing stuff? Mm -hmm. me, ah, you, what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 go to River Road and see what's going on. So, you know, I was young, I was uh, excited. So I, I went, I was in my 30s at the time. Uh -huh. I, so I decided, okay, let me go. So I went into River Road, I just walked in, um, I looked around. Um, I, I couldn't put head or tail. I tried to meet him. I met Nduti once. Mm -hmm. um, quite an interesting character. Right. Um, for if if you live, if you've been born and bred um, in the leafy suburbs, mm -hmm. he was not. <laughs> not quite. <laughs> right. Right. He was and you grew up in engaging. the leafy suburbs? I grew up in the leafy ah, suburbs, yeah. We will come to that in a <laughs> bit, but uh -huh. carry on. So, um, so I, I thought, hey, this place, this is the streets. This is wild. I can't handle this. 
Thankfully, uh -huh. one of the filmmakers that I was working with, um, he was very, very active. He's called Moses. Moses is just an incredible young man mm -hmm. who, who, who just wanted to do a lot. Um, so he told me, I can help you to get into this. So I said, who is in River Road that I can deal with? You know, someone uh, I can meet, you know, and talk with. And he told me, oh, there's a guy called Ken Wakoraya. Mm -hmm. So I met Ken Wakoraya and he told me, let me take you to River Road. So he took me to a place, he took me to a place called Simba Center. Okay. What is that? Simba Center, um, let me tell you something. In the 1990s, 2000s, and, and 2010s, mm -hmm. uh, that was the heart of yeah. entertainment in Eastern Central Africa. Okay. All music, all um, DVD, uh, that time it was VCDs, all VCDs were coming and being distributed from there to Dar es Salaam, to Malawi, to Zambia, to Congo. To, uh, it was everything was being done in Simba Center. Can you believe this? No, nope. it was, was mind-boggling. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you go there and you find guys coming. That someone is buying a uh, hundred, uh, ten thousand copies. Mm -hmm. Another guy is buying five thousand copies, and guys are just walking in, walking in buying of, of VCDs. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my goodness, there's an yeah. industry over here. Yeah. And um, Wakura told me, okay, so this is the guy who uh, he met. I met two other guys. Mm -hmm. um, I forget their names now. But really, um, you could tell, mm -hmm. you just look at them, you could tell money was behind them. <laughs> right. This is River Road. Actually, those guys are richer yeah. than uptown, leafy suburb people. These I guys think. introduced me to producers, or mm -hmm. shall I call them filmmakers, or yeah. artists yeah. who were doing crazy stuff. Uh -huh. There was Warigia, a lady. Who, okay. She was head of Kikuyu um, Entertainment. Mm -hmm. There was Kihenjo. Mm -hmm. There was Mashangi. I'm sure these names you've heard before. There was uh, uh, Shuya. Yeah. In, in Luya land. Yeah. There was John Lomelo. Mm -hmm. uh, no, Kimondolo. Kimondolo in, uh, in, in, in Mukambani. Mm -hmm. It was just, they were doing crazy stuff. They were, where were they distributing their content though? Because so I'm pretty sure you have, you you have like a guy yeah. who, quote unquote, what people would call, in, this is I said, a pirate. His job basically is you bring in the master, mm -hmm. he gives you a lump sum, then he produces the copies that people are demanding. Okay. So Because okay. he has the muscle. Yeah. So he just pays you. He tells you, okay, I should get two million. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. When I've reached an amount that reaches two million, yeah. I will call mm -hmm. you and I'll, I'll, I'll send you more money. Okay. So okay. You, you trust him, sort of, yeah. uh, to give you, a, if it goes beyond that. But basically, it was swings and roundabouts. You, you give and take. You, you, you bring your master, he makes a copy, gives you a big figure, mm -hmm. you go home, and now you try and make another copy, another master. Okay. Um, and in the meantime, people like Kehenjo and others were still going to. Um, bar, shall I call them bars to clubs mm -hmm. uh, and doing their live performances okay. and after the live performances they would sell the DVDs okay. and, and, uh, not DVDs, they were VCDs VCDs, were VCDs. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. so the VCD VCD era was very lucrative for Riverwood and that's uh -huh. when I arrived there when okay. VCD was just um, picking up so you know it's like Washira knew this and I, I was like my eyes were wide open. So I said you know what this content is just being distributed on VCD. Mm -hmm. Let's get this on national TV because I, I mean, I was, my background was in contact with, uh, with broadcasters. Mm -hmm. I had done stuff. Mm -hmm. I was actually on, on uh, Capital FM yeah. as a broadcaster myself, as a, as, a, as a presenter. So I understood the broadcast industry and I, and I knew a lot of people in the broadcast industry. Mm -hmm. So I went to, uh, I went around and decided, let me talk to KTN. Mm -hmm. KTN told me, Ati, you want to do what? I want to bring these movies, you know, we talk about Kenyan stuff. <laughs> The, Nigeria was really growing. It was yes. booming at that time. We we're, were just getting those uh, funny movies, you know, with Juju and all that. Yes, they were yes. Just, <laughs> that was the time when that was booming. Uh -huh. So I went and told him, you guys, let's do something. You know, why are we just doing Nigerian? Let's do Kenyan. Mm -hmm. and I said, yeah, these things of yours, they, they've got, uh, gr they're granulated, you know, you can, mm -hmm. the funny pixelations, you, the content is not that. No, 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 no. N not KTN. Yeah. I went to NTV. NTV told me, ah, Talk to us next year, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and then I went to KBC. KBC were interested, um, but it takes a long time for government to turn around and start, yeah. you know. So that that took a long time. Okay. Um, so I was impatient. Th at that particular point in time, KBC had a station called uh, Metro. Yes. A TV yes. station called Metro TV. Then, um, Kwaku of Africa, Africa, Radio Africa, Radio Africa yeah. bought it off them. Okay. 
and he was looking at getting content. So mm -hmm. I'd been talking to KBC through Metro, and they said, oh, by the way, we sold Metro to this mm -hmm. guy. Go and talk to him. So I, I didn't know him, mm -hmm. but um, I'm, I'm friends with uh, Kiprono Kitoni. So I told yes. Kiprono, can you introduce me to uh, Patrick? And Kiprono at this time was... Kiprono is the chairman of, uh, of okay. Radio Africa. Mm -hmm. So um, he told me, oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. So I went and had a coffee with uh, Patrick, and I told him, you know what, eh? Mm -hmm. It's time we start doing Kenyan stuff. Since you have a station yeah. called Metro, and, yeah. and I was going to do this deal with KBC, mm -hmm. why don't you continue taking this deal? Yeah. He said, okay, um, are you sure there's enough content to, to run onto you know, the station? Because we want to have consistency and, conti and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and continuity. continuity. I said, to him, yeah, well, <clears throat> excuse me again. Uh, uh, he said, yeah, I said, well, I think so. Mm -hmm. He told me, okay, go and do research. So he actually financed the research. And I sent Moses mm -hmm. um, around the country right. to, the, uh, to go and get me content, proof yeah. that there's content out there. Mm -hmm. He came back to me with like hundreds of VCDs from everywhere. We, from Isibania, from Inki Sealand. <laughs> where, where are people watching this? I'm, they were watching wow. local content. Okay. It's incredible. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he went all over and came back with about hundreds of, of, of VCDs. Mm -hmm. and, and I told him, you know, if we, if we were just, I think there were about 200 and something. I can't remember the, the correct figure. But there was content out there. And mm -hmm. I said, once we start, yeah. guys will continue creating. This, mm -hmm. this is not it. Now, the only problem, of course, was the quality. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and Patrick was very worried about mm -hmm. that. But um, a friend of, uh, actually, we became friends because of this, um, Brongo Yekunda, mm -hmm. who actually was one of the first people to start KTN. Right. was consulting for mm -hmm. this new station, which they decided to call KISS TV. Yeah. And um, he said, you know what? The quality will improve as long as you keep the consistency going. Mm -hmm. So he convinced uh, Patrick. And Patrick said, okay, let's take a gamble. So we, the, we signed a deal for one year, one hour, every day. Wow. Every day. So okay. that's 500, uh, that's uh, every day. That's how many? 365 hours of content. Well, that I had. <laughs> what year was this? Are we talking? We're talking about twenty twelve. Okay, twenty twelve. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was twenty twelve. So, um, so we we signed that that contract, and uh, it was in February, I remember, and um, and then uh, I know I had to have a meeting with these producers. I told them, okay, guys, I need to have a meeting with this road. So I asked Wakoraya. I need to meet these guys. Where do we meet them? He told me, ah, these guys always go to a place called Timboroa on Sheikh Karome Avenue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is a, wow, this is a country I do not know yeah, at all, clearly. Let me tell you, uh -huh. the, the, the industry, the, 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 the economy mm -hmm. of River Road. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's, yeah. it's in the billions per day. It's, mm -hmm. it's incredible. So we walked into, I walked into Timboroa. It's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, dingyish place but mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. where they go and hang out so we, we i got there and we had uh, 25 producers up here i mean big guys kenjo was there mm -hmm. um, 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 um oh what is his name he's another chairman of uh of one of these um i'll remember what is his name okay. he's a very interesting friend in here. a lot of them were there um and and i told them okay so i will be buying um one hour of content every day from mm -hmm. you guys, can you produce? I said, of course. Yeah. Twice on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, okay, good. So bring me all your content. I will aggregate it. It has to reach a certain standard, mm -hmm. and I will, I will, and then take it forward. If yeah. it passes, it, it will go forward. So I set up an an an, an, an aggregation team mm -hmm. um, with a guy. I, we I have some incredible people there. Um, now this is now Moses came on Moses Maura. Mm -hmm. Not Moses Maura. My goodness, Simon Maura. Yeah. Simon joined my team. He's a young man. He was uh, looking for a job, and I told him, "This is what you need to do. We need to, we need to watch these movies. Mm -hmm. We rate them. I had done a, a system for rating. Mm -hmm. and I told him, this is what we call aggregation. We're aggregating content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we started doing that, and um, and we were told by the way, there was one caveat: we must not get it from one region only. Of course, okay. you can imagine this region. It's been close to Mount Kenya, a lot of the content was from Mount Kenya. So we had to go and look yeah. from, for other places. Mm -hmm. But there was Pengele from Luonya land, Lua land. There was Ayush, Ashuya from Luya land. There was uh, Chondomelo John and Kimondolo from Gambani. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There were guys from coast. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we just had, as soon as they knew that this, this was happening, 
let me tell you, all of a sudden, everyone came running. Everyone started coming. Oh, the other caveat was mm -hmm. there must be subtitling okay. because it's all yes. vernacular. Yeah. So all of a sudden, mm -hmm. uh, there was a move. The whole of Riverwood was talking about subtitle. You should need subtitle. You should need subtitle. So I was called well, the subtitle guy. Okay. Uh -huh. So in that meeting at Timboro, I asked them guys, so who uh, are we, what are we going to call ourselves? Mm -hmm. what, what should we, I mean, because we'll need to call ourselves something. Mm -hmm. and we need to be organized. And in fact, uh, it, Yekunda told me, by the way, t tell them to organize themselves and have their own association. So they said, okay, we call ourselves Riverwood. Yeah. Immediately. He said, Riverwood. I said, oh, oh I can see his face. Yeah. I'm trying to remember his name. And everyone said, yeah, Riverwood. So Riverwood Ensemble. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, sir, sir. So I told them I will be a secretary to start off and see how that goes. Mm -hmm. um, so I, we got it registered with, uh, with, with officials and everything. And that was when Riverwood was born. Okay, that's excellent. That's when Riverwood was born. And uh, we just started doing the content on, on KISS. Mm -hmm. And the rest, they say, is history. Okay. So at that particular point in time, I was called... I'm telling you another story altogether. I was <laughs> I was invited to no no I decided I needed to go to to find out what was happening in in uh, Tanzania yeah because Tanzania were steps quite a number of steps ahead of us uh -huh. now uh, it it coincided with my going to train so I, I used to do training as well it coincided with me going to train some people in uh, in, in Tanzania I think it was uh, Vodacom I think yeah I was mm -hmm. going to I was I was training with a company that does training. And they, I, I, it just happened that I arrived when they were having the Bongo uh, Awards. Okay. Bongo Wood Awards. Actually, they call them the Bongo Wood. Yes, Bongo Wood Awards. Right. Bongo, of course, coming from the, yeah. the Bongo music. And yeah. so Tanzania decided Bongo is their name. Mm -hmm. So we had Riverwood in, in Kenya and Bongo Wood. Mm -hmm. So I went and met uh, the owners of Step Entertainment. Steps mm -hmm. Entertainment were the guys who were buying content. There were two. There was Kilimanjaro and Steps. Okay. Was it Kilimanjaro? Yes, I think it was Kilimanjaro. Or it's another name. Anyway, uh, two big uh, uh, entertainment families mm -hmm. that were buying content from local uh, producers. Yeah. Branding it mm -hmm. and selling it across Tanzania, they were doing, I kid you not, they were doing millions of copies. Wow. I went wow. to the steps office. Eh? Mm -hmm. You walk in there and you feel like you're in an industry, in a factory. They showed me the duplicating machines, but uh -huh. there was a proper factory, yeah? Mm -hmm. Industrial area, you know what I'm talking about? It's yeah. with a warehouse and everything, with, with you know, as carriage, you're going through security. Wow. You're not allowed in this place. It was incredible. Yeah, sounds like it. It was uh -huh. I, I said I stepped back at step. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness me! Mm -hmm. These guys are ahead of us like a hundred times, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I went for the uh, awards. Uh, I was sitting next to big girls, uh, big people like uh, Pepetra, Pepe, Pepe, Pepe mm -hmm. that kind of lady with a beautiful woman. I can't remember name. How can I forget? Anyway, so it was Sepetu. Sepetu, where, yes. Where I, I sat next to Sepetu. Where where, myself. Where? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you for reminding me her name. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. and, and I gave an award and I told them, I'm going to invite you to the Riverwood Awards the following year. And believe it or not, in 2014, we held our first uh, Riverwood Awards. Yes. It was, it, that was 2013. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was 2013. Okay. So I invited them the following year, which is 2014, and we had mm -hmm. our first okay. Riverwood Awards. And I suppose all of this is what led up to the television deal that then fell apart because all yes, of your activities. Yes, because now we're building, yes, yeah. we're building capacity. Uh, we're looking credible because yeah. we're, we're doing this continuously so i thought now what what is the future of this if um we cannot just be doing kiss we need to yeah expand it a little yeah. wider so then I, I i can i now mention the name uh, <laughs> maybe maybe not uh, possibly i don't think so <laughs> let's keep it safe so let's i went to say... another broadcaster yes exactly and told them let's continue this uh let's continue this Thing. And, and the thing is, I can I have proven yeah. that this content, I have proven that we're able to aggregate it, mm -hmm. I've proven that we're able to continue to make it grow. Mm -hmm. But at this point, we're even being invited to South Africa, we're being invited to Nigeria. Yeah. I mean, everyone was paying attention to this Riverwood thing that was growing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so this, yeah, yeah, do as a contract, a, a, a proposal. I did a proposal for the, for the acquisition manager. It went to the uh, production, is it called the production manager? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think, uh, yes, the production manager, it went to the CEO. Yeah. Um, it was approved. Mm -hmm. And the lawyers now uh, actually drafted a contract. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we were going to give them four hours of content mm -hmm. every day, every mm -hmm. weekday, mm -hmm. and one hour on weekends. Okay. And we had a space for it. And we were going to call it the Riverwood Accountability was, I think it's... <laughs> Right. So just 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 to give people a little bit of clarity, this is a, a two, this is a media house, two TV channels. They and, had, yes, there are two TV channels. And yes. the second one was. And the second one was going to be specifically for Kenyan content. Okay. Right. Or African content, shall yeah. I say? Because they were going to put music. They were going mm -hmm. to put. Um, and I was taking care of the documentary and 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 uh, movie. Okay. Side of things. Mm -hmm. So now at this point now I'm thinking thinking four hours a day. Mm -hmm. I need content. Yes. So I start telling people, please don't don't sell the content to anybody. Give it to me. They don't say, no, no, give me a down payment. So mm -hmm. I give somebody a down payment. Yeah. Right. I was feeling I need to do this. Oh, by the way, at this time we had already moved to another station as well. We're actually doing content for another station. Okay. So we're now we're doing the case one and now we're doing another one. Mm -hmm. So it was growing. Yeah. And now this was just going to take it to the next level. Yes. So when uh, we did the the, the, the math, because everyone was telling us how much they wanted to be paid, and we and all those numbers were done and crunched, and we got the approvals, it was coming to 248 million shillings yeah. for the next two years. What? Yeah, okay. I was, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I started seeing my BM, my Mercedes parked in the <laughs> driveway of my Nyari home. <laughs> Your helicopter, the one for bringing you daily uh, to Nairobi. The helicopter, yet. The helicopter's one big yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those are still out of reach. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So, um, uh, yeah, I was quite excited about it. And, and, and I'd, even, I'd even hired, I had more people. And I told them, we need, we need to have presence on, on YouTube. So we started pushing our YouTube pages. Yeah. Um, IG had not come yet. Yeah. There was no IG yet. Yeah. Um, or maybe it was, but not big in Kenya. Um, mm -hmm. So we, 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 we're, we're doing all the right things to cover our bases and be ready mm -hmm. for this big uh, thing that was going to happen. Right. Then uh, I had a news item. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. What? They said, yeah, um, they've decided they're going to close this um, station, both the radio and the TV. I said, that doesn't sound right. I had it, it was on news. Yeah. Uh, in mid afternoon, I can't remember what time it was. So I called my friend, uh, my brother actually, mm -hmm. like a brother to me, Jimmy Gathu. Okay. Jimmy, what's. what's what am I hearing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been laid off, man. Hey, <laughs> it's, wow. it's, it's over. Yeah. We're just about to sign. What are you talking about? I have talked to the guys yesterday. Mm -hmm. What's, what are you talking about? He said, yeah, that's it. So I went home, uh, closed the door of the bedroom, yeah. got into bed, mm -hmm. and stayed there for a week and a half. <laughs> I mean, I, I would absolutely do the same. So you've, you've already told us your wife is the one who prompted you to like get up and get yeah, moving. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now here is the thing. You're still standing today. So how did you recover and move on? Because, you know, clearly you're not still in your bedroom. You know? <laughs> you're here. Yeah, that was a big lesson. It was yeah. a very big co uh, business lesson. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The one, one, okay, first and foremost, I thank God for for very strong Christian upbringing, very strong yeah. spiritual upbringing. Mm -hmm. Let me not say Christian because it's 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 about connecting with 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 God, the superior, uh, you know, supreme being. Um, realizing that you're um, a small pawn on a table of lots of things happening. Yeah, a lot happening. It's not it's not about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not just about you. Mm -hmm. Um, and and that. If you get up mm -hmm. and start again, mm -hmm. you can you, the same grace that was extended to you before can be extended to you again. And with the lessons you've learned, you can do something different. Okay. Okay. That was that was, that was what happened. Um, mm -hmm. And this was now twenty. I can't remember whether it was twenty fourteen or twenty fifteen. Mm -hmm. uh, that was ah no 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 it was much later than that, my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it was much later than that. Okay. Um, and and. Uh, at that point in time, um, I just decided to, to do, to, I started doing events again. Mm -hmm. I decided, let me get back to events because uh, I, I know about events. I had mm -hmm. done big events, by the way, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, with my company, Balozi Productions, we had done uh, Woman of the Year Awards. We had done um, Company of the Year Awards. Mm -hmm. We had done um, One Fire Awards. Mm -hmm. We had, uh, we had created, uh, um, 
Nairobi, um, Nairobi beauty pageant, what is it called? Nairobi, Miss World, Miss World Nairobi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had, um, and that was incredible. We did very, very well. That was when pageants were pageants. Yes. By the way, do they still do pageants? I've never heard, I've no. not heard about them in a while. No. Eh? <laughs> but that was an event. If you, I mean, I would get in, uh, inquiries to get tickets mm -hmm. from the embassy of um, the American embassy or wow. from the Italian embassy, you know? Mm -hmm. They were interested to be part of And people would come, we'd sit in front row, mm -hmm. bow ties. It was really interesting. It was very yeah. exciting times. Anyway, so we, we had done a lot of events. We then, um, with some friends of mine, because uh, of this, uh, things going down, I got into, oh, actually, this was before, actually. But, Business had collapsed earlier slightly. Okay. And and, and and someone had helped me pick it up. Um actually we need to go a shout out to them because they 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 helped me on my on my journey. Okay. Um Clive Hines and mm -hmm. Neil McKenzie. Okay. Um they had something called Catalyst Africa okay. marketing. Okay. And I was their production manager. Okay. Um that taught me a lot. I mean, we did um the Stanchet Marathon, we did um Simbawa Kenya Pool wow. Challenge. We did the Tusker um, Safari Sevens. Mm -hmm. We did um, the that's the Marathon. Yes, I did. And yeah. this um, the Smanoff Air Show, Nairobi Air Show. Oh wow! Yeah, with those when they had wow. the biplanes that came, the, the, yes. the Smanoff biplanes from from uh, from South Africa, and mm -hmm. they were doing all those. That was us. Okay. Was, that was quite exciting. Right, it gave me a lot of confidence to to be able to move on, and that's mm -hmm. when I did the second phase of Riverwood. Okay. Yeah, so that was um, very uh -huh. exciting times. Very exciting times. All right. So uh, we will be right back with more of this interview because we're just about to delve into Balozi Productions, which was your first business, I yeah, believe. Yeah, it was okay. my first business. Right. And why it's not um, up and running right now. <laughs> 